Hi Capricorn, it's Tina from Twinkle Star Tarot. First and foremost, thank you so much for being here. For those who are new to my channel, welcome. For those who are returning, thank you for your continued support as always. All right, so Capricorn, before we get started, just a quick announcement. I have opened an Etsy shop with my friend Jen. Um, in the Etsy shop, you will find all types of things from conditioning oils to soaps to candles to all kinds of metaphysical things. Um, it's a really cool shop and I hope you will decide to check it out. The link for that will be down below. Um, actually tonight I'm gonna be using, prior to your reading, one of my oils that I made. Um, I made a bunch of them and I love them all. And I'll tell you right now, they've been working. I've been giving them away as gifts to friends and family members, um, and especially my money oil. Oh my gosh, everybody that's received that has received a big windfall in some form or another. So it's been really exciting. Uh, anyway, tonight I'm gonna be using my fortune teller blend before I read for you guys, uh, just so I can make sure I get the most accurate reading possible. This enhances your psychic ability, abil uh, abilities, abilities. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get that warmed up. Okay, so for my Capricorns, Capricorns, Capricorns. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. Spirit guides, the universe, guardian angels, and ancestors. This reading is for the zodiac sign of Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising. Please allow me to be a clear channel for their messages. Thank you. All right. Capricorn, October 2019. Capricorn, October 2019. All right, having a little bit of trouble there, Capricorn. What's going on, guys? Okay, let's see. Capricorn. All right, let's see what we got for Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. October 2019. What can Capricorn expect for the month of October 2019? Sun, moon, and rising. Okay, Capricorn. Capricorn. I have done so many personal readings for Caps for the last... I don't know, probably four or five months now, and I've made friends with so many of you guys. So hi, Capricorns, how are you guys doing? Um, I myself am a Capricorn moon, so I definitely resonate with that energy. All right, Capricorn. Okay, so for those of you that are new to my channel and you don't know how I do my general readings, it's gonna be a nine card spread. I do three cards for your recent past, three for your present, three for your near future. I also clarify, do a bottom of the deck overview, ooh, right away, recent past magician. Um, and I'll also be doing an extended reading for you on Vimeo. The link for that will be the, in the description box down below. That's gonna be a deep dive on a lot of different subjects for you guys. All right, so recent past for Capricorn. Two more cards, you guys have cards flying already. That's great. Okay, magician. Virgo, Gemini, Aries, also manifesting something, Seven of Cups, lots of options, could be a little bit of confusion going on. And then we also have the Eight of Wands reversed, maybe possibly a block in communication. You could be blocked, somebody could be blocking, or you could be blocking somebody else, um, something along those lines, but we'll get into it. All right, present energy for Capricorn. Present energy for Capricorn. World reversed. <laughs> surprise, surprise, Page of Cups. And the Five of Swords, oh my goodness. Okay, Capricorn, what's going on in the near future for Capricorn? Okay, Nine of Swords, King of Pentacles. Ooh, okay, two of them came out. The Star and Justice Reverse. I'm gonna keep them both just because they did come out together. Okay, all right, let me just adjust my camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Perfect, okay. So Capricorn, recent past, magician, manifesting what you want, okay? You're working really hard on manifesting something in your life. It could be multiple things as well, if you're like me. Um, but this could be love, this could be you know money, this can be just a change in your life, just something really positive that you're trying to, to bring in. And honestly, Capricorn, whether you know it or not, you actually have all of the tools that you need to bring in whatever you are trying to do. Whatever you're trying to bring in, it's already there, okay? Could be dealing with a Virgo, an Aries, or a Gemini as well. Uh, next card is gonna be the Seven of Cups. Okay, Seven of Cups means you have multiple options, you have a decision to make, and it's confusing because there are so many options here. You can go this way, you can go that way, you can pick this one, you can pick that one. The thing with the Seven of Cups is like, there's some choices here that are obviously not gonna be great, okay? So like this cup, for instance, has a big snake in it, right? We probably don't wanna reach for that snake because we know there's a snake in there. And this one very obviously has some crown jewels in it, right? So that's gonna be a definitely good 
good choice for us, and we know that. Um, but this one here, it's alluring, it's enticing. We have no idea what lies beyond cup number three. See what I mean? Because it's covered there with a cloth, so he doesn't know, but it looks very, very exciting. So you may be actually choosing Capricorn something that's a little bit risky. You may be going for the unknown here. You know what's gonna be good and you know what's not gonna be good, right? That's pretty easy to identify. But there's something alluring about the unknown here that's drawing you in is what it seems. All right, now we've got the Eight of Wands reversed. Again, I call this Cupid's arrows as it relates to love. It could be that you have pulled back on your passion for someone. You've, you've stopped giving someone that, you know, your doting energy where you're just showering them with, with love, constantly telling them how cute they are, how awesome they are, how wonderful they are. You've pulled back on that for some reason. It also could be, like I said, you blocked someone or someone blocked you, okay? Now, in the present energy Capricorn, we have the world card reversed okay the world signifies it's the most positive card in the deck any way it comes out reversed or not okay it signifies completions of cycles so it means that something is not complete here you have not yet completed a cycle something has not come full circle could also mean that you are trying to get to a certain goal and you're missing one element of it right like there's one piece of the puzzle that kind of has to fall into place here before you can move forward and it has not moved forward yet it has not come to you yet but you're waiting for it okay um, page of cups water sign energy Pisces cancer or Scorpio but also this could be an offer like a romantic offer typically, it's something emotional or heartfelt. Also, I see this a lot with apologies. So somebody saying sorry to you, you saying sorry to somebody else, somebody apologizing is what I'm getting here, okay? Pretty much with this page of cups here, or somebody owes you an apology, Capricorn. That could be too. Next, we've got the Five of Swords, all right? Five of Swords is petty drama. It's fighting, it's arguing, it's this, it's that, it's tit for tat, da 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 You know, it, it basically, it's a very immature energy. It's not quite as painful as the Ten of Swords. Well, it's not pain, as painful as by a long shot as the Ten of Swords, but what it is is it's petty, okay? This is arguing, this is drama, this is fights, this is stupid, you know? It's, it's immature energy, but somebody may be bringing that into your life, okay? So with this apology, this I'm so sorry, this can I take you out, can I apologize to you, can I show you how sorry I am, might come along some drama is what I'm getting at here, okay? And you may have invited that drama in by letting this person back into your life, Capricorn. You know, could have happened. All right, going forward, we have the Nine of Swords into the near future. That's going to be anxiety, okay? Sleepless nights, like that feeling in your stomach, like, ugh, you know, you're so annoyed, you're so aggravated, but you're also so anxious that you can't sleep, okay? King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, could be you, could be somebody else. Um, it can mean a number of things. Sometimes I see this card as the husband or the masculine energy in the relationship. Other times it is an earth sign. It could be also be a boss or somebody that is... Um, in charge of your finances, okay? Um, a stable masculine energy partner, that type of thing. It's in the upright, so I don't get a bad vibe from it. It almost feels like relationship-wise, things might be up in the air for you guys, okay? But money-wise, things look really good. I mean, Capricorns are good with money. Well, you know how we are, guys. We are. We, we have a very good knack for, you know, making money. We're very good business people, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, so that's usually a constant in our life, right? And no matter what, we can pretty much depend on our business sense to pull us through. However, uh, love-wise, things may be a different story, okay? Because we have big hearts, so we let in people that may not deserve to be there. We Sometimes we make bad choices based on our hearts versus our head, right? Like we use our heart instead of our head to make a decision on who we're letting in and that bites us in the butt. So that could be what's happening this month, Capricorn, we'll clarify, okay? Next we have the star, Aquarius energy, but also wishes being granted something really awesome happening to you towards the end of the month, but that's followed by justice reversed, okay? This could be a Libra that you're dealing with, but this is also legal matters, possibly, okay? Could also be that things are just imbalanced, all right? Let's clarify and get some more information. Magician, why is the magician here for Capricorn? High Priestess, Pisces energy, but also a secret secretly manifesting something. She's the keeper of secrets, guys. So you could be secretly involved with a Virgo, a Gemini, or an Aries. You could be secretly manifesting something, right? Like you're doing something in secret. It's kind of like I do. 
I mean, I'm real serious about that. Like, I do my little, you know, my candle workings and stuff like that behind the scenes, right? I don't sit there on, you know, out in public and, you know, put my life out into the world like that. I read tarot cards, not necessarily in secret, but it's not something that everybody knows about me. So you may be doing something like that in secret too, okay? Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups. Seven of Pentacles, all right? You've invested in something that's what it is, Capricorn. You have invested in something and it is very tempting to go towards that investment. You put a lot of time into something or someone and you're tempted to go right back to it, right? Even though it may have brought conflict to you before, you're like, mm, I don't know if I wanna give it up yet. You know, there's something about it that is very alluring, that's pulling you back into it. All right, let's see, eight of wands reversed, six of wands. Right, even though you get a feeling like you need to pull the brakes on this, you need to like slow down a little bit, you still feel like there's a victory here. You still feel like you can win this, you know? If you just do it a little bit differently this time, if you just make the right choices this time, if you do, if you take the right steps, this time it's gonna work. Mm, I know exactly what that relates to in my life. <laughs> the world reversed, the world reversed. Okay, something's unfinished, unfinished cycles. What is this for Capricorn? The sun reversed. Okay, could be dealing with a Leo or another fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius as well. <sighs> okay, but whatever this is that's leaving you, that's open-ended, right? That's not finished, that's not closed out. It, it makes you unhappy, okay? It's, it's kind of sucking the joy out of your life. Maybe you need closure on something, Capricorn. You're trying to seek that closure and maybe that's why you're making this decision. You know what the right decision is and you know you're taking a risk by taking, by making this choice to kind of take the risky route, but you you cannot leave things the way they were, right? You can't just leave that stone unturned. You've got to, you've got to turn over that stone and see what's underneath it. It might be a snake, but you're gonna find out, right? You gotta find out because that way you know, and at least you can have closure at that point. Page of Cups for Capricorn, please. Ten of Swords reverse, ooh. All right, that's what it is. Somebody is coming back, okay, you need closure or they need closure. Somebody needs something, right? Because there was pain involved in this. There was hurt, there was trauma. Ten of Swords. That is a painful freaking event, okay? That shit hurts. And that's what was left open-ended. So it's just like all of a sudden, like, like you were in a relationship, right? Things were going fine. And one day, one fight, one petty argument, one piece of drama, and all of a sudden, bam, blocked, you know? And it's like you never existed. And that that's not right, you know what I mean? That's not how a Capricorn operates. So you, Capricorn, are now going backwards. You're thinking about accepting this person back in. You're thinking about hearing them out, taking their apology, seeing what they have to say with the Page of Cups, right? Even though they fucking hurt you. But you, you didn't have closure. You didn't have the closure that you need. So you need to know one way or the other, one more time, is this gonna work or not? Are they sincere or not? Mm, you might need a reading, boo. Five of swords, five of swords. Let's see, the Hierophant. This could be with your job, this could be with a Taurus, this could be with somebody you were in a relationship with. This is solid, stable, and committed. Somebody that, something that you are committed to causes conflict in your life, but you're still committed to it, all right? Nine of swords in the near future for Capricorn. The knight of wands. Yeah, this is a fire sign. That's Aries Leo Sag, but also this could be that things are moving so fast that you don't know what to do and you're freaked out, you know? It could be like if, they, if you let them back in, if it was a love relationship, you let them back in your life and all of a sudden shit starts going fast and you're like, what the hell? You, it, it scares you because you've already been through this whole Ten of Swords energy. See what I'm saying? And now it's like, I don't know what to do. You know, they want to commit to you quick and you're very conflicted about that. If it's a job, they want you bad and they want you now and you don't know whether you should quit your old job or not. You know what I mean? It's just going too fast for you, Capricorn. You haven't had a chance to sit down and think about what you want to do. King of Pentacles, that's you being level-headed, King of Pentacles, and using that, that, remember how I was saying, you know, heart over mind? Now you're using your mind over your heart. You're really gonna, you know, use that business sense about you, serious business, to make these serious decisions in your life that are gonna affect everything going forward. King of Pentacles, Two of Swords. 
<laughs> but the thing of it is, you're at a crossroads, right? You're trying to make that decision, but your heart is still saying like, oh, just give him another chance, Capricorn. Just give him another chance. And you're like, F you. <laughs> The star, the star. Why is the star here for Capricorn? King of Wands reversed. Ooh. You want what you want, Capricorn, but you're mad. You're angry. Or you're dealing with a fire sign. That is just not right. Okay, that is just not good. They don't, they don't have their shit together like you do, Capricorn. You know it. You know it, but you still love them. You still want to help them. You still want to have them back. Mm, there's something going on here, Capricorn. It almost makes me feel dizzy because it's so intense. You know what I mean? Mm -mm -mm. Justice reversed. Justice reversed. King of Cups. Could be out of balance emotionally because that's the king of emotions. It could be with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or it could be that even though shit is not balanced, even though you're not getting back what you are putting into it, you're still putting into it. You're giving it your all. Damn, Capricorn, that's quite a reading. All right, Capricorn, I'm gonna continue this over on Vimeo. Link will be down below. I'm gonna go in depth on Capricorn singles, Capricorn couples, and Capricorn career and finances. Um, also, if you need a personal reading, please feel free to email me. It's trustintruthtarot at gmail.com. I'll have that down below as well. And also, please do check out my Etsy shop if you're so interested or if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Um, I put a lot of work into that, and um, it's going to grow every single day. Every day, I'm putting more and more stuff up there. Um, it's just starting out. So anyway, if you want to take a look, that would be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Have a beautiful month. Bye.